what's going on YouTube? So, Solar Smoke, we're back. Uh, it's been a long time, as you can tell, I'm not in the usual setting. Uh, today's going to be a really special cook. Uh, it's going to be for a 50th birthday party. I'm going to be doing the food, I'm going to be smoking it up. Um, done an excellent choice, actually, we're going to be doing pulled pork. It's the easiest way of feeding a lot of people for low cost, and it's just real tasty. So, I've gone to the butchers, my local butchers, you know, I like to source it local. I've got five whole bone in pork shoulders, like we've talked about before in my previous videos. They look amazing. These guys are huge. Cost me around £14 per shoulder. Um, £70 in total, obviously. Um, I'm going to be injecting them today. I'm going to be rubbing them down using the Angus and Oink um, Porky White Chick. I'm also using the Meat Colab Injection Mix, also supplied by Angus and Oink. Um, I found that tried and true now. Um, just found out another good tip. Um, I'm actually using a, a, a syringe and like an in, a medical needle, almost, not a drug one. Um, but for injecting meat, it's worked superbly. I've done the first one already. Um, I'll bring you in and show you what I've done so far. So guys, as you can see, I've got five beautiful British pork shoulders out, all bone in from the local butcher. Here's the first of the um, butts. It's been trimmed down just as before. Um, Porky white chick on that, as I could said. Here's that syringe I'm on about. I've got all my seasonings there. That's the um, injection mix that's been made up. It's 25% powder to 75% water. The meat collab stuff, this stuff is really, really good. Even if you fluctuate sometimes with your temperatures, this stuff just keeps that meat moist. You can't go wrong with this whatsoever. Guys, I'm really excited for this smoke. It's gonna be 15 hours. We're gonna go through the night. It's going on at half 10 tonight. The party is tomorrow afternoon. Um, so obviously I'm prepping everything now. Uh, once the pork shoulders are done, they'll be going into the refrigerator. Half ten tonight. I've got smoke wood shack cherry chunks to smoke with. Really excited to use a bit of cherry wood for once, rather than my usual oak that I use. Um, but yeah, guys, sorry it's been such a long time since the last video, but uh, I'm coming back with a bang, and we're going to do a big cook today. So I'm going to show you how you can, one, cater for up to 100 people. Uh, with barbecue you can keep it cheap like I said 70 pounds it's cost for the uh, meat itself I've spent 20 pounds on charcoal briquettes um, from a local home base uh, we're gonna like I say we've got the smoke wood uh, from smoke wood shack uh, for cherry junks gonna be on the Weber Smoky Mountain again I'm also gonna be demonstrating with the Smoky Mountain but you can cater for a lot of people and how you know an important piece of kit it is and it, it, its capacity of what it can hold is second to none. So, guys, like I said, here we go. Beautiful, massive pork shoulders. I am trimming off all the uh, rind all off, and I'm tidying them up, leaving a little bit of fat, because that will be used to baste during the smoke. Also adds some moisture and flavour. So, you've seen me in my last video how I trim them up, so I won't go through that again with you. But, uh, yeah, here we go, guys. Should be fun. Hey guys, so it's uh, half past ten at night, just like I told you. Um, we're here, we're getting the uh, charcoals going. Um, I've got my Weber charcoal starter here. Absolutely an amazing piece of kit, guys. Um, I would like to point out that uh, tonight I've actually tried something I watched on YouTube myself. It's a piece of actual kitchen towel or just paper towel, as you may know, wherever you are in the world. Um, I coated it in extra olive oil, like cooking oil. Um, and set fire to it and it is working just as well as a fire lighter would um i didn't actually have any my mistake i actually forgot i was in such a rush this morning uh trying to get all my barbecue equipment together but um as you can see um that's taken like an absolute storm so if you're ever stuck and don't actually have any fire lighters a piece of kitchen paper kitchen roll covered in a bit of cooking oil light it and it works fantastically um here's my smoky mountain it's all set up ready to go we've got a bed of coal there my uh chunks of cherry wood from smoke wood shack uh resting nicely upon um here's the rest of the smoky mountain of course but um yeah it's half 10 at night we're getting going it's gonna be a good one it's gonna be a long one but you know i had to come back with a bit of a bang um but yeah guys so I'm going to give this about half an hour to get the coals glowing white hot. I'm going to then transfer them to the Smoky Mountain itself. Um, Layer it all across, just on top. Ooh, sorry about that, guys, with all the smoke. But what I will be doing is um, I won't be using the classic minion method, whereas you um, 
We'll dig a little hole in the centre, dump the hot coals into the centre. I have tried that, I really have, and um, I've actually found the best technique with a Weber Smoky Mountain is to actually lay a bed of coals, and then the coals are actually getting hot now in the chimney. I will s literally sprinkle across over it as a top layer, and it will actually heat downwards, if you can try and understand what I mean by that. But I've actually found that that is the best method so far. So that is exactly what we'll be doing today, guys. So we'll pick back up in a bit once my coals are burning red hot and uh, we're ready to put pork on. So yeah, solar smoke, catch you in a bit. Hi guys, so we're just picking up. So like I said, look how well that trick has worked. Um, I know I'm just picking up again pointlessly in my scene, but um, I just wanted to reinforce to you that um, I couldn't believe this has worked actually. If you are ever stuck for fire lighters, um, again, kitchen paper roll bit of olive oil look at that it's really going now you can really see the coals are taking um so what you want to be looking for in the briquettes is that they're glowing red with a slight white ash over the top and that's when you know you're ready to go but once again now that we've got a little bit less smoke we'll be doing that and then going straight over here onto the Weber Smoky Mountain we'll be dicing them just across the top um again so many people swear by the minion method um but I've actually found that this is honestly the best way. You can see how I set my coal up. So if we've got any noobs watching, this is one for you. Um, there's the firing of the Weber Smoky Mountain 57. I filled it up with coals almost to the very top. So it's a good thick layer of coals. Briquettes. I find I always use briquettes because they don't burn as hot as lumpwood. Um, we'll be sprinkling the hot coals all over the top of them. Evenly over the top like a cake as if you were icing it. And they'll just burn downwards downwards is what i'm saying so um guys i found this to be the best method for me choose what you want you can use a snake method um you can use a minion method but we will have an episode soon where we'll talk through how the uh smoky mountain works but um for me this is what works um so i'll uh pick back up in a while and show you how that is all right guys so it's 10 to 1 in the morning um smokers have time to come up on temp um we're just about hitting the 225 which is a perfect smoke zone so if you want to come and have a look here, the port shoulders, like I told you, I have got five here. I've got one, two, three, four, and five in here. The rub has been on for the best part of six hours. You can really see the coloration change that we've got here because the rub has had time to work into the meat. That's exactly what I wanted. Um, we are going to start putting the pork onto the smoker now. And as I said, with a smoky mountain, as you all well know, it's got two smoke, uh, two, well, two cooking levels, I should say. Um, so we're going to be putting two on the bottom, three on the top. I've got my sm uh, cherry wood that's smoking along quite nicely now. If we have a quick look at the uh, Weber Smoky Mountain, we've got a nice smoke coming off the top. I know it's dark and you can't really see it too well, but to the eye, that's a thin blue smoke, so we're in the perfect zone. If we have a quick look at my thermometer gauge here, we're just coming up on the smoke zone here. As you can see, Weber, if you are a newbie to all this, Weber have been quite good and giving you a smoke range zone. So. I have started to dial in the thermometer gauges down the bottom, sorry, the air vent intakes. So within the next 15 minutes, that will come up to about 250. So I am gonna to start to get the, the meat on there just cause it does have to go on. Cause we're looking at the best part of a 13 hour smoke. So yeah, guys, um, as you can see, if we go back over to the uh, port shoulders, they're all ready to go on. As I said, two on the bottom, three on the top. The top grate is your most preferred level cause obviously it's the furthest away from the heat source. Um, but obviously, we've got a lot of meat here. You can really see, looking at the table here, I've got a lot of meat to get on that smoker. So, um, guys, we'll be picking up probably about four o'clock, half past four in the morning, when I'm ready to start spritzing these down. I'll be spritzing them down with a mixture of apple juice. That's fresh apple juice and uh, apple cider vinegar. So, guys, I'm excited. I'm really, once again, I can't apologize enough for the delay in another video, but like I said, this is a big one and uh, yeah, I'm excited. Catch you in a bit. All right guys, so we're finally done. It took 10 hours, 45 minutes. Um, that was for all five um, shoulders. You can see I've got them all there. They've been tenting. I've had, I've had them resting for half an hour because you remember what I told you about in previous videos. You need to hold your meat after it comes off a smoker. You can't just go diving in and ripping it apart. But uh, yeah guys, I'm really impressed with that. I did three wrapped and I did two uh, naked, um, obviously not wrapping in foil. Uh, this is one of the ones that came out unwrapped. You can see a fantastic bark that's been formed on this. It, it looks incredible. I have had probed them. They're uh, 201 Fahrenheit internal. Uh, 
Pro mm. went through like butter. And uh, again, that's down to having an injection. Whatever you inject, with guys, I have to say, always better to inject than not to inject. Because ever since I've been doing it, the results have just been phenomenal. Um, it's as tender as could be. I mean, the bone is just coming away. I mean, you, you can see the juices there coming out. It's just dripping. So guys, um, I'm going to get this pulled with my bear claws and we'll come back and we'll have a look at the results uh, in the box. Alright guys, so this was the finished product. As you can see, beautifully moist, pulled pork and this is only off one and a half shoulders. Um, like I said, I did five in total. This is for a party of 90 to 100 people. Look at the smoke ring that we got there. There's some great pink on there. Very, very, very impressed with the uh, smoke wood shack wood, the cherry wood there. Um, Where Best Smoky Mountain held like a champ, it was uh, between 225 to 260 the whole way. So as you can see there, we've got it in a chafing dish on the party table. And just over there, you've got another whole tub of pork. I mean, that's filled with pork. So, anyway guys, if you've enjoyed the video, hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe and we'll be back next week with an unboxing video of a brand new smoker.